Massive news from Canada. Major news from Canada. This news is one thing that will change a lot of things. These updates that has been dropped by the Minister of Immigration in Canada, Mark Miller. This update will change a lot of things positively. And this update and the changes and the positive changes this update will make is something I want to share with you in this video. Yes, believe me, I am very, very happy. Even though I am not studying in Canada, I reside here in the US, it is good news because I love to see my people doing well. And this information is something that is going to put more money in people's pocket, especially people who are going to Canada for their studies. Yes, so massive updates, massive updates. You understand, massive updates. So in this very video, this is something I will be sharing with you. And I will be touching areas that this news is going to affect positively so that you are somebody who is aspiring to go and study in Canada or you are already there in Canada studying, you can know how to maximize this opportunity. Because for some time, many employers in Canada has refused or have refused. That's a plural term. Many employers in Canada have refused or are not encouraged or we are not encouraged to employ international students because of their working hours. But now, there is a change. The wind of change has blown and I am happy. So if you are coming across my channel for the first time, my name is Nusa Comedy, the man with the remedy. Many of my fans call me Nusa from the source. So please do well to subscribe if you haven't done so and also like this video. Thank you very, very much. So let's go into this video proper. Now, yesterday, the Minister of Immigration right there in Canada, Mark Miller, announced that from fall this year, international students will not be able to work 24 hours a week as against the initial 20 hours or the current 20 hours. So as I make this video now, it is still 20 hours a week. But from fall, which is September, from September this year, international students will now be able to work 24 hours a week. So let me read from a laptop so that um, let's, let's, let's hear what he said. Mark Miller has just dropped a major update increasing off-campus work hours for international students from 20 hours to 24 hours per week. Yes. And to many of you, or to some of you, you may be thinking, what is the difference? It's never up to 30, 20 hours a week before or now. They are, now they are now adding additional four. Trust me, that four is a massive difference. I will tell you why. Now, if you are studying in a province like Ontario, and let's go by the minimum wage calculation right there in Ontario. If you were initially working 20 hours a week, earning minimum wage in Ontario, these extra four hours that they have added in the same Ontario, we are using Ontario as a case study, these four hours we add almost two thousand Canadian dollars to your salary in a year. If you are on minimum wage, that is to say, if you are earning above minimum wage, these extra four hours will give you additional over two thousand Canadian dollars a year. That is a blessing. That is a blessing. And before I go further with this update, because I, like I said, I'm going to break it down to you the area it is going to affect positively. Now, before I go more or furthermore, let me quickly say this. If you are still waiting for your school in Canada to send you a testation letter, please do well to reach out to the school. I have said this in my previous videos and I will say it again. 
because not too long ago, some people reached out to me telling me they have paid um, tuition deposits as required by the school and they were yet to receive their provincial attestation letter. I told them, reach out to your school. And a lot of people have reached out to me, giving me feedbacks, telling me they reached out to the school after a few days, the attestation letter were sent to them. After a few days after they wrote, I can't say oh, whether the school forget to, oh, whether the, some, the person that did that thing oh, was just slowing the thing down. Oh, I don't know. Please don't allow another person to use their reggae to spoil your blues. Because when it comes to applying for this provincial attestation letter, it is human beings like you that are involved in the process. Human beings like you and me are involved in this process. So if they slow down, it will affect you. If they have forgotten to send you your provincial attestation letter, it will still affect you. That is why it is very, very important. Anything that involves human beings, please, if you reach out to the school first or once, no reply, send a message again. Or better still, call them because me, I like call. If no reply, reach out to them again. Because the reason why I'm saying this is that Many schools in Canada have said that their tuition fees are no longer refundable. That is to say, if a school is telling you that your tuition deposit is not refundable if you don't get visas, I will advise you to carry that school along on your visa process, if possible, on a weekly basis or bi-weekly basis, or at least on a monthly basis. Because before now, there were, there were cases where people pay tuition deposits to Canadian schools, applied for visas, there was delay. And eventually, some of them were denied. And they did not even bother to reach out to the school before they applied for that visa. And when they were trying to reach out to that school, the school told them, your admission has been forfeited because you have to read the terms of conditions for that school. So now the reason why it is very, very important for you to reach out to these schools is that now that they can no longer refund your tuition deposits, I'm not saying all the schools, who, most of the, many of the schools are saying that now, so that at least they can defer your admission to the next admission cycle. You understand? That is to say, if you were applying to study in Canada before, maybe January, and you are unable to get your visas, they can most possibly defer your admission to like September. Something like that. You don't need to still pay another tuition deposit. Your money will still be there. So it is very, very important. Please reach out to the school. Now, back to this um, increment of 20 hours a week to 24 hours a week work, a week work, um, 24 hours work week for international students. Now, as I speak to you, many employers or some employers in Canada are not interested in employing students. Yes, the reason is that some employers are saying that they spent resources, they, they spend the same resources on workers who are working full-time and the same resources are spent on students who will be coming to work two shift a week so many of them are no longer interested not all some of them let me use the word some of them are no longer interested so with these 24 hours a week it means now that you can give your employers three shifts a week of eight hours each Ordinarily, um, we have five working days, Monday to Friday, for some jobs. Why some jobs? Every day is a working day. They break it down into shifts. So now, instead of training you before for two shifts a week, this will motivate employer to even employ students because now these students can work three shifts a week. So this is good news. And also, with this current arrangement, it will enable students to have 
additional money to support themselves right there in Canada. This 24 hours a week is something massive. For those of us who are already here in the US, in the system working, I know the benefit of these four hours. When you get to Canada and start, and start schooling, you will understand my point. Maybe it's too early for you to understand. Because to some of you, is it not just four hours? No problem. Imagine a four hours that will put almost $2,000 in your pocket at the end of every year if you are earning minimum wage in Ontario. Then imagine if you are earning above minimum wage. That is to say that money will put over 2,000 Canadian dollars in your bank account, in your pocket, in a year. Do you know that many students have dropped out of school before now in Canada because they were unable to pay tuition fees? Cost of living is high. And many of them, that 20 hours a week was no longer viable for them to get money to take care of themselves. So that is why it is very, very important right now that you are somebody that is going there, you have an advantage. With these 24 hours a week, if you can even be able to save properly, trust me, you can even be able to pay your tuition fee in Canada. With these 24 hours a week, depending on the kind of job you are doing, trust me, trust me, or at, or, or at least, you can be able to get substantial part of your tuition fee in Canada from this 24 hours a week. So this is good news. And this will be starting by fall this year. That is September, not now. So for those of you who are, who are going to Canada now, trust me, this for four hours is something massive for you guys to enjoy. Very, very important. Yes, so very very important many students have dropped out of school and they resorted to seeking asylum some got it some failed and the excuse many of them were giving was that they are unable to complete their tuition fees yes they are unable so this is massive news massive massive yes so massive when i saw it on the internet and then going to some canada news today i was like okay let me do a video on this. You understand? So that is it, guys. And for those of you applying for this student visa, I wish you all the best. Um, I just hope and I'm praying that you guys get it. Because um, I wouldn't wish losing tuition fee on anybody. And applying to study this year and you don't get it applying next year, that one year setback is what I don't still wish anybody. But God knows best. And I'm hoping to hear from you when you guys are getting these visas. So till I see you in my next video, I wish you all the best. Keep winning. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. You can. Just believe in yourself. Have a good one, guys. Peace.